Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Pisces? How are you guys enjoying spring? I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. The weather change was much needed. Although I'm in the desert area, so it's starting to get pretty freaking hot. <laughs> Anyways, pretty excited. Um, beginning of a new month. Possibilities are endless, right? Let's see what's going on with you Pisces out there. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2022? What is unfolding for them? Please give us guidance. Allow us to guide them on their journey towards answers, removing any doubts or any fears. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with you Pisces. All right, one more shuffle. Okay, thank you, spirits. Here we go. Pisces. Pisces, here we go. Okay, first card we have here, Queen of Cups. All right, Pisces, this is definitely your energy, which is very grounded. I see you guys very... I see you guys taking inventory. This could be uh, looking at every single aspect of your life. It is about... It is about analyzing what has been working in your life and what has not been working. It is about thinking or deciding uh, choices is what I'm hearing. And I feel like April is going to be a month of change. But with change, there must be some type of choices that we need to take, right? Your next card here is the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Um, I feel like for a very long time, Pisces, you have been listening to your feelings to your emotions uh, obviously you are a water energy and you're ruled by emotion right um but i feel like at some point you've had a uh, almost this recurring lesson of learning to think with your head and not completely being ruled by impulse or emotion um, and I feel like right now in this month of April, you're debating or you're learning how to do so, how to disconnect and not be completely ruled by your emotions, but using logic, losing or not losing by using logic, by learning to think with a cold head, with a cold mind. Um, I feel like there are decisions that need to be made in this month of April. And for some of you guys, it's a decision that yes, it may be painful. Um, but I feel like at this point, you are certain of what it is that you want. And you're no longer allowing those around you that play the victim card to string you along to influence your decisions. It's like I'm hearing, I'm done. I'm done of making excuses. I'm done of allowing you to play the victim role and for me to feel bad because I love you and excusing whatever behavior it is. Now, this doesn't have to be in relationships. This could be people around you. This could be family member, relatives, friends that often, oftentimes um, take for granted everything that you do for them, Pisces. And I feel like at this point you've realized you need to protect yourself and you need to protect your energy. Why? Because perhaps when you've needed people there, no one's to be found. But when they are in need of you, you are quick to drop everything and run to their assistance or run to help them. And it's like, I'm taking care of myself is what I'm hearing. Now, for some of you guys, sorry, my phone is ringing. Give me one second. Now, for some of you guys, this could be in direct connection with your childhood. This could be your relatives, your family members. There could be a bit of a toxic cycle here. Um, it could be that people have a tendency of guilt tripping you, of making you feel like shit, only so that you can see their way 
and agree with them or go with the flow of what they're wanting to happen. And it's like, nope, I've had enough. I'm done. I'm not making any more excuses. If it's affecting my stability or my sanity, my peace of mind, I'm not going to do it. And I applaud you, Pisces, because I think that when when water signs, right, you guys are ruled with emotion, with the element of water, it is your greatest superpower, your emotions, intuition, psychic abilities. But when you consume yourself, and delve deep into those emotions, you could kind of get lost because you are capable or able to uh, feel other people's energies. And, and a lot of the time, especially those of you guys that have a tendency of getting headaches, um, because what's standing out here for me is the crown and it's full of spikes. So if you guys have a tendency of oftentimes getting headaches, or others of you have a tendency of getting always like a sore throat or difficulty breathing or difficulty uh, feeling like getting cold and stuff like that. It's because your mental health, or I should say your mental health is affecting your physical health. So it is about thinking for yourself and learning to put yourself first, Pisces, especially for this month. If you feel like you need to speak up, speak up. Even if it means you have to be, you know, the, the, even if you have to be looked at as being the rude, bold one. <laughs> so I don't use a curse word. <laughs> um, if you have to take on that lead, that role of being bitchy, then do it. Do it because it is time that you learn to put yourself a priority. It is time that you learn to protect yourself and your energy. It's time you learn to allow or to stop allowing people to take advantage of you and to manipulate you or to manipulate the way you see things. There is a lot of need for stability here and strengthening uh, your health. And your health is in direct connection with the inner struggles that you deal with here. Five of Swords. Ego. Let go of making excuses for other people. If anything, for this month of April, speak up when you must. Don't hold back. Because I see you guys having issues in your uh, throat chakra. And this is suppressed emotion. This is feeling like you can't fully express or you can't completely be honest. Because you are dancing around issues because you don't want to hurt people's feelings. At this point, you need to do so. Even if it makes others uncomfortable. Protect your energy for this month, Pisces. I want to wish you guys the very best. I wish you uh, wisdom, understanding. Take the messages for what they are. And uh, we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.